Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have another Country Craft Creations Design Team project to share with you. This is using simple stories, simple vintage, mm -hmm, simple vintage berry fields. I don't know why I can never get it all out at once. But um, this is my third project using this collection and um, I will have a tutorial for this. Um, I won't be able to do it until I get back in town, so it'll be in a few days, so stay tuned for that. Um, I will have a tutorial for you, but this is a four and a half by seven, um, just I guess like a waterfall folio, um, just with a little extra twist on it. <clears throat> so here is... The front cover, I did use um, a 4x4 four four cut apart, but I did trim it down to fit on here. And then I double matted it, popped it up on scrap chipboard. And these are all done with scraps. So I did not have any full sheets left from my first project. So this was all with scraps. I did use some of the um, sticker brads, the uh, ephemera pieces. I had some twine in my stash and some enamel dots. Used my corner chompers here. I did mat everything in a white. And then I have a white seam binding from Country Craft Creations. And opens up like this. So we have um, just basically, again, I, I did a sneak peek on this, but I did want... Um, I designed this album specifically for the cut apart pages for simple stories. Now, mind you, if you use a different collection, these measurements might need to be adjusted for your waterfall. So just remember that. Um, take a look at your, it's a, it's a cut apart page that they have in all their collections that has all these different sizes. So you might have to adjust it. And just because I'm noticing it right now. So I could see that I put a white, white seam binding and then I did an off-white <laughs> seam binding here. So yeah, I don't know what that's about, but there is white and off-white in the collection. So, you know, I did it on purpose. Can't you tell? <laughs> okay. So we have a tie closure on this side and this just folds down and it's just ready for a photo or journaling photo spot here and I think I counted I want to say you could fit a good like 50 it was okay well the number was either 30 or 50 photos <laughs> that is a big difference but I will put it in the description box below but it was a lot of photos either way for this this little baby and I did leave this where you could just tuck a photo up underneath that if you wanted to, but you could fit a four by six right on there. And then these are four by four. So you have a four by four waterfall. And I just used the four by four cut aparts and then some scraps. And then the large base flips up. And then you have a little tuck spot down here with the truck. And I just tuck those in there and then flip that back around and there's a large photo mat in the back. So again, you can fit a four by six, you can fit a photo back here. And this just goes back together. And then on the other side, you have this waterfall so just different sizes, like so. So these are all straight from that cut apart page. Great for little journaling spots. And I did add some of the sticker breads, flat back breads down here. And then it opens up to the side. Again, some moments to do some journaling. You could do a punch out of a photo here, like with your circle punch. Then you have that, and then I made a little pocket here with a photo mat and a tag. And this was from one of the ephemera packs. And then I have a large photo mat back here as well. So 
there you guys go. I really, I like how this turned out. There's still a lot of room, so it's not like really tight, you know, when you close it up. So just so you guys can see. Um, but I'll definitely be making more of these because I've always wanted to. I always have that cut apart page and wanted to make something with it. So, and you guys know I love simple stories, but I will link... Um, Country Craft Creations um, online store below. If you have not already joined Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations on Facebook, um, it's a fun group to be a part of, but there's a lot of projects shown. Members show their projects. Um, a lot of like tips and tricks um, for everyone, so definitely join that. Um, but she, I believe, I, I'm pretty sure she told me she was ordering more of this, so I will link to get to what she has left on her on her um in the store online but um there's more coming so stay tuned and hopefully again if you guys watch my haul videos you know to go get it right away if you like the collection that i you know show because eventually i'll make something with it it takes me a little bit but eventually <laughs> but there you guys go so i do want to just show you Everything that I made with, and it wasn't even a full collection. I did not have a full um, collection for this. I had a whole bunch of singles, but I have still a ton of chipboard and ephemeral left and need more paper. But this is what I made with um, just that little bit. So, you know, there's a great way to stretch out your projects. But full size projects here. And yeah, I think that is everything. So thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure that you do. So that way you can see future design team projects from Country Craft Creations. Thanks for watching. Bye.